Uh, today I want to talk to you about your goals and your dreams. I want you to think about something that's important to you. Maybe it's a personal goal. I know in my own personal experience, my goal was to be able to buy my mother a home. I'm adopted. So I wanted to be able to do something special for my adopted mother. She was a domestic worker for wealthy families on Miami Beach, and she cooked for these families, and we ate the food left over from the families that she cooked for, and she kept the children, and we wore the hand-me-down clothes of the children that she kept. And you could imagine as a kid, I used to say, Mama, on the way home on the bus, from Miami Beach back to Liberty City and Overtown, I said, when I become a man, I'm gonna be able to buy clothes for us and buy groceries for us. But not only that, I'm gonna buy you a big, beautiful home, just like the homes that you clean every day. And she said, Leslie, you don't have to do that. I said, I know, but I'm going to. And, and you know what? The reason that I, I said that, I believe that it was possible. See, the family that, that Mama worked for, uh, Mr. Sadursky used to listen to motivational messages every day. And I was very fortunate to have to take care of the needs of Mr. Sadursky. Had to shine his shoes and dust his office. And he was very rude to me. He said, Leslie, especially had guests, did you clean this? Yes, I did, sir. Look at it. How can you say that? I do apologize, sir. And his guests would say, don't talk to him like that. That's not nice. But the truth of the matter is, I didn't clean the office as good as I could have, <laughs> okay? And the reason I did not is because I wanted him to call me into the office so I can spend time doing it over again as I listen to the motivational messages that he listened to every day by Earl Nightingale. I can remember as if it were yesterday. We become what we think about. All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. I can hear the voice of Dr. Norman Vincent Peale who wrote The Power of Positive Thinking. Don't allow your negative thoughts to hold you back. You are greater than your circumstances. I can remember when he was listening to Zig Ziglar. If you give enough people what they want, they will give you what you want. I can remember as he is listening to Jim Rowan. When the end comes for you, let it find you conquering a new mountain not sliding down an old one. And unbeknownst to me, those messages, they're programming my mind. And it helped me to begin to develop a mindset of possibility. I want you to think about your goals and dreams of what you want to achieve on a personal level. Mine was to buy my mother home, to take care of her. What is your goal? What's your dream? What is something that you want to do with your life? And I can say to you, based upon my own experience, I don't even know you, that is possible. That you have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. And, and your, your mindset is crucial as you look at your goals and your dreams and having a spirit of optimism. I, I had a friend who went to New York City to apply for a job and she came back and I said, hey, how did things go? She said, I didn't get the job. I said, what happened? She said, they turned me down, but I didn't think I was gonna get it anyhow. And I thought after I left her presence, well, why did she go in the first place? You know, she went there with a mindset that she was not going to get the job. I believe that we have an energy and a, a spirit about us that people telegraph that. But I believe that had she gone there, there's no guarantee that, hey, with a sense of expectation, I'm going to get this job. I think her preparation, her attitude, and her behavior, and her energy would have been totally different. I'm reminded of two little boys who were in Philadelphia and they were playing on some ice and they got out too far and one fell through the ice and, and, and he was thrashing, trying to get out. And obviously his friend looked at him and panicked and he couldn't reach him, he couldn't pull him out. And so he saw him going under the ice and it was very hard and he couldn't break through. And so this little frail fellow ran, he saw a tree in the distance. And he scrambled up this tree and he, he broke off a big branch. He came back and savagely began to beat the ice and he broke it. And miraculously, he saved his friend. And when the paramedics came, people were looking at him. He had a blanket around him. This little puny dude, about 12 years old. And, and people start asking the question as they looked at him and they looked at the branch. How could this little small fellow Break this branch off. And, 
and beat this ice and break it, save his friend. How, how could he have done that? As small as he was. And, and as they were scratching their heads, a gentleman who was there said, I can tell you how he did it. And everybody said, how? And he said, there was no one here to tell him that he couldn't do it. See, a lot of people are not really living their dreams and living the kind of life that they are capable of living because of the fact that they have been inundated with so many negative conversations. Have you ever had a goal and dream of something you wanted to achieve and you shared it with people that you love and thought they would be excited for you? And they said to you, you can't do that. You know, MIT did a study and the study indicated if I tell you, you can't do that, somebody else has to come along and say, you can do it. You can do it. Don't listen to him, Ruby. You can do it. John, don't listen to Les. You can do it. They have to say that 17 times before they can neutralize that one time. That's why my favorite book says, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. And so by listening to those motivational messages, every day when my mother went to do domestic work on Miami Beach, it began to give me a sense of optimism, possibilities of the kind of life that I can live. And I'm saying to you, as you listen on a regular basis, as you begin to program your mind deliberately, the reason that most people don't achieve their goals is because they are thinking like everybody else. 16 revolutionary words, be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's an ongoing process. What are your goals? What are your dreams? Bro Nightingale was right. You don't get in life what you want. You get in life what you are. And so you want to take the time every day to listen to things that can help to program your mind positively because at the end of the day, if you don't program your mind, it's going to be programmed. Trust me, it's going to be bombarded with all kind of head trash, commercials. I was at a service station pumping gas and a commercial came up. I mean, you get on the elevator and commercials are there. You look at billboards, their messages is coming in over 5,000, 10,000 messages on a regular basis. And so as you look at your goals and dreams, it's very important that you are intentional about controlling what goes on in your mind because everything gets in through the eyes and through the ears. So what do you want? What do you want for yourself? What I'm doing right now? I didn't do it for 14 years. You know why? Because I was suffering from possibility blindness. Have you thought about doing something and you, you looked at what you wanted to do and your heart said, I could do that. And then your mind asked, how? And then you start thinking, well, I can't do that. I don't have a college education. I can't do that. I don't have an MBA or a PhD. I can't do that. I've never worked for a major corporation. Why would corporations reach over people with PhDs and MBAs and years of experience and pay me to come in to do something I've never done? I thought about doing this for years and I talked myself out of it. There's an African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. Shakespeare says, the fort dear Brutus, it's not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. And so as you look at yourself and look at your goals and look at your dreams, I'm saying to you that it's possible because if anybody at any point in time had a goal, had a dream of what they wanted to achieve and they made it happen, then it's possible that you can do it too.